All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So hopefully the mic sounds better than it did yesterday. Uh, ordered the foam. The foam is in and it is wrapped around the mic to make sure that sound doesn't bounce around because that was actually one of the problems uh, is that uh, sound was just completely bouncing around in the room and because uh, the mic is so good that it sounded kind of echoey. So hopefully this is better. Hopefully this is exactly uh, what we want. So I opened up fairly well, I must say, I opened up really well. We are playing um, them Skull Servants, throwing some zombies and all that great shit. So I could just discard the Mizuki instead of sending. But I guess I should just send anyway and then just hold on to the cards in my hand. Because now I can, I can attack anyway, you know? If I could attack, then sh I would have done this play instead. But uh, for now, I think I'll just go ahead and do the classic Sage play. Like, just make an Omega, put the Mizuki back. I got multiple Mizukis. I can just, you know, Mizuki and then, you know... Uh, do that play next turn with Ma uh, Zombie Master, just pitch a Mizuki, get back Unizombie, like that's fucking power, and then, you know, Unizombie can increase itself by pitching another Mizuki, so that means I have three Mizukis in Grave, like three Mizukis in Grave, like are you fucking insane? I might be able to fucking just end this duel, actually, no, I probably should have pitched a Mizuki, that way I would have the Mizuki in the Grave for, to banish, to then summon the Unizombie, no, 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 the end result would have still been the same, except... Because uh, I would increase my, I would have to increase my level twice as in two Mizuki, so no, that's not right. <laughs> it would have been nice to yeah, have a, a zombie set up for this. Uh, uh, last daily rules that we played is that I completely forgot about this card. Someone actually had commented and was like, um, Sword? I was like, completely forgot. I think it was Stanzi he told me, and I was like, I completely forgot about Sword. Completely. So it's in there. This deck is <clears throat> really tight. It's actually suggested that I put in, like, you know, uh, Dragon Mirror or Polly to fuse into that one Dragon Zombie guy, or, or possibly, uh, if I go ahead and leave, I believe he has to fuse from his hand. I believe. I mean, it's an experimental test. Yep, yep, you have to fuse from your hand, which you can't. Alright, and then I get to confirm in your extra deck all the shit that you cannot make. Ah, ah, and it fizzles. Power, power. Damn, that's fucked up. It's like, yeah, he doesn't have the, the targets in his hand. Like, damn, and I get to look at your hands. So yeah, Twin Twister, Radiant, Onsu, and Gamma So we're going against Kaijus. And now I don't have a monster. Really, if I were you, I would have just went <clears throat> the Kaiju on top of my uh, oh my god, but you try to get cute with Shadal Fusion and you got fucked up for it. So, whoo, that was good. That was good. Knowledge is power and I got everything. So I know your owner seal, Twin Twister, like, uh, and then Radiant and Gamma Seal. All right, like, wow. You went hell and egg on that. Like, holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, it feels good to do that. Like, it feels hella fucking good. Uh, like I said, I could just make another... Uh, I probably could go for game. He doesn't have the Wabaku. So pretty much just try to go for as much damage as possible and wrap this duel up. So I can go... Mizuki, summon Unizombie. Unizombie, pitch Mizuki. Like, then... Revive, like we, we got plays for days. We might be able to just end this duel. Like, there's really nothing he can stop me. I mean, if he wants to do the twin twister on my my sword, more power to you, you know. But like, I'm gonna go for game. So, we'll go ahead and activate this, this card, increase, and increase my Unizombie by pitching Mizuki. Then we will go ahead and that's in the grave. So, then I want to use Mizuki. You want to use Mizuki? Use Mizuki to summon back Sage, then sink A. Then I can summon Zombie Master, pitch the Mizuki, summon back Unizombie again, and then sink, I guess that would be 7, and then just go for an attack, 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 with 28, a 28, 28, 28, 56, 56, 24 more damage, yeah. So I, I should be able to uh, wrap this duel up right now. Like. Like, goddamn, that man, that man got fucked. I guess I'll go and wait over. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. It's not like I'm gonna set the deck or anything like that, so. So I'll just go ahead and wrap up this duel. Like, damn, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I opened up great, and that shit all fusion, and that Omega just fucked you. Like, I, I didn't, I thought it might, it might work like that, and I was right, so. Let's go ahead and thank you two, and to you. Oh, good. Set this, even though I know it's Twin Twisters. Or Owner Seal, but I seriously doubt you said that. He's probably Twin Twisters, but I can negate it with Void Ogre, and then everybody attack. You got nothing to block my attack. I know you don't have any Battle Faders or anything along those lines, so... 
if there's nothing you can pitch to put in the grave, like, it's all good. I'm just gonna go ahead and have Void Ogre negate that, because, um, fuck you. And attack, 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 game. Like, yeah, get OTK. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Look at that. Skull Servants. Wait, I didn't even do any Skull Servant plays. <laughs> but no, the deck is really tight. I'm running, you know, the Mizuki, the Unizombie, the Zombie Master, the Sage, the Skull Servant shit, the Solemn's Brigade, the, the, the Sword. Like, the deck is so fucking tight that I really don't have any room to put in the polys. And I'm not sure how I feel about that play. You know, the Star Venom play. So, mm. And of course, the monsters have to be on the field. It's not like the other zombie where I could just banish the two zombies from my graveyard to summon the, the zombie dragon guy. Like, no, the Star Venom, they have to be on the field. So, eh. Anyway, we'll get another duel. Bring it back. Alright. Another duel. Like, that, that really wasn't a duel at all. I just kind of kicked the crap out of that guy. Like, that, that wasn't even nice. Alright. So, I think Zombie Master works really well in Skull Sermons because these guys get their effect from cost. So, I can just be like, alright, Zombie Master, pitch my shaking shit, get back, you know, like, you know, like, you know the plays. They're, they're really good. So I'll open the Classic Sage again. I'll probably hold the Twin Twister in my hand just in case because I don't like people Twin Twistering my Twin Twister, you know? This hand's actually really good. Like, really good. Really good. I mean, any, any, any uh, opening with Sage is just like, wow, because. They just that one card sink eight omega and, t and put your Mizuki back. Like you cannot say that's not that's not power. You cannot say that's not power. <laughs> anyway, uh, you look at the title that devious due date. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, like I said community college has ended and now I'm in university. Uh, it's an accelerated program where I have a class per month, and the first class that I've taken is pretty much over. Like, surprisingly, like, it, it, it snuck up on me, and pretty much everything is due tomorrow, Thursday. Everything is due. Like, it literally says at the bottom of the paper, Thursday, May 26th, is the final deadline to hand in all of your remaining work. I will be on campus that evening to collect all pending assignments from you. Yeah, and uh, it snuck up on me so freaking bad. Oh, oh, the electromagnetic alpha warrior guy. All right. And it snuck up on me so freaking fast. So this can go ahead and search for a Magnet Warrior, and then you just gonna play that Poly and summon that man, right? Because you, if you run both, you can fusion into that. Like that's really power. I totally wouldn't mind playing that. Um, uh, it's okay. He's gonna end. If he goes to his no, I was like, you're just gonna straight up end. I was thinking about you know doing my effect during hit the end of his main phase one, but then I was like, all right, well main phase one, I pick something out of his hand, but he would snap back in main phase one, go into battle and hit me for 17. So if he would have did his main phase two, I would have done something, but he just skips right over it. So that's fine. Anyway, I can just go ahead and do the Zombie Master. Zombie Master, go ahead and pitch the Prince. Go ahead, I guess, and revive me. And revive me, uh, Unizombie. It's just... What do I want to do? Huh. I can have Mizuki summon Unizombie. Summon Sage. Oh, Unizombie. Uh, can I only use uh, Prince Effect once per turn? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'll summon. I'll summon. Summon Unizombie. He will go off. Go ahead and send me two Skull Servants. Send Skull Servants. Send Skull Servants. Then I can go ahead and increase your level by sending the right Prince from my hand. Increase your own level by one. By sending the right Prince, who will then send two his effect isn't once per turn, and he gets effect from cost. Like, this is the reason why we're running Zombie Master. Besides Zombie Facts, Zombie Master yeah, is pretty good. But more sending, more pitching, more sending. So Twin Twister 2, send, send. Then I can go ahead and... I think I kind of messed that up because I never sent the king, but I guess I could always just make it so only zombies can attack by, and then increase the level one more time. Increase the level something else, like it doesn't matter, right? And uh, and then send the king, and then revive the king with uh, Mizuki. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. So Omega won't be able to attack, but you know what? That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So I'll increase your level up to four, because I don't want to touch anything in mine. I guess I can increase Omega, but I guess I'll go ahead and increase your level up to four by sending a zombie. I'll go ahead and send my king of the Skull Servants. And then I can go ahead and revive him with the Mizuki. I could have, you know, summoned him with, with that, but I don't want to banish. I want to get all the juiciness attack out of this. Like, mm, 6k, yes. So, that's pretty power. That is pretty power. So, I guess I'll just go ahead and attack. Like, 
Is there, do you get any effects? Oh, these are my opponent's turn. During your opponent's turn, you can tribute this card. Special summon one level four magnet warrior from your deck. This is a quick effect. Okay. So, I'm assuming that you're probably, as soon as I declare my attack, you're just going to tag out to a different magnet warrior. Yep. I wouldn't mind trying out magnet warriors on, on the channel. It seems like it would be interesting, especially the new ones. Like, Similar to ABC, like I, I totally wouldn't mind, you know, going from ABC to the new Electromanic Warrior, so. So he's gonna summon the, the OG. Oh, right, I get to three declare, but you have that 18 booty, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, like he summoned the, the, the classic, but it doesn't matter because that booty though, so. Uh, then I guess I'll just go ahead and sink into Bills wouldn't be terrible, just in case. Bills, blah, 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 blah. Bills? I already have an Omega. I really don't need two. Yeah, I really don't need two at this current moment. So I guess Bills would be the safer play. I have cards in my hand, so not Void Ogre. Oh, I could trust you if I wanted to, but I don't, so. I gotta hold on to my King of the Skull Servants. And, uh, yeah, go ahead. So I got Bills and I got... And I got Omega, and I got this guy. It's nice, but, you know, that, if you bust up that that Magnet Warrior, the Fusion guy, he could easily fuck me up. Like, 4,000 beater is kind of like a, a, a Quasar with its negate and its summon. Like, that's pretty power. Pretty power. Like, I would love to do A to Z with ABC, but I'm just not sure. It's too difficult. Like, like XYZ is too difficult in comparison to, you know, ABC. Well, this, I mean, look at this. He just summons, search, summon, search, you know? He could literally grab the other one, and if he had, if he has the poly, because I think he got no, he got two Valkyrians. If say if he would have got uh, the other one, not Valkyrian, but the other one, he would have had both of them. Play polymerization, fuse, bam, right there, power. And he's gonna and scoop. All right, that's fine. So uh, uh, get another duel. Be right back. All right, got a another duel. So. Uh, pretty much, I, it snuck up on me, but all the assignments that uh, unexpectedly I didn't think were, in, were due are due, and god that sucks. Uh, this hand is okay. I can do the double send freaking Lady in the White play. So I can summon, pitch her, send, uh, 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 like a, to increase my level, then send Mizuki, then Mizuki summon her back and then go into a mega. So. It's not, it's not the best of plays, you know, it's not as great as just opening up Sage, but it's still a fine play. So go ahead and do that, send the Mizuki. Uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. If I go Insta Fusion, summon Norden, and Norden summons me back Mizuki. No, because I need Mizuki in the grave, I need Vanish Mizuki right now. I was thinking about, can I do a play and then, then do, then do the, the white play. Insta Fusion, summon Norden. Norden summon Insta Fusion summon Norden. Norden summon Lady in the White. Sink into oh uh, into Omega, right? Then use Mizuki, banish, summon the, the Unizami that just got sent. Sink again. Yep, yep, yep. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I got the order right. As long as I do everything correctly. Because Norden's just so fair. He should have been banned, but he didn't, so that's great. So, of course, make you two into an Omega. And then I can go ahead and have Mizuki summon me back Unizombie. Oh, no, I messed that up. I forgot about the level difference. That's fine. I guess I can just go into, like, Chris Clearing. Or Moonlight. Or Clearing. Eh, I'll go with Clearing. I forgot that I would drop back down to level three. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm level four. Like, no, you're not. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and uh, put that Mizuki back. And I mean, busting out a clear wing and a side from Omega is pretty powerful until I get regeki of course. But at least I can hop out the way, but, <laughs> but my clear wing, like, no, my clear wing. <laughs> I want to get use out of you. So I got a butt ton of assignments to do, like pretty much everything on the list. Uh, I've been keeping up with the discussion board, so that's no problem. I finished my field observation, my uh, my 10 hours, so uh, I, I had, my journal is due, my uh, five hours of field observation recorded, which means that there's five journals due, page each, so I have to do that. Uh, 
I did my resume. I kept up with that. It was a little bit earlier than the rest of the assignments. I had to do a refer I had to do I have to do my reflector journal. I haven't even started on that one yet. Two pages reflecting on what you've learned about yourself during this class as a potential teacher. I need to do that. And then my philosophy of teaching and learning. I just finished that like right before I recorded this. Uh, two to three pages, uh, choosing a topic, and I did uh, what motivates me as a teacher. Like, like I said, it's starting to get into more of the the sappy, more uh, less workload, but more. Uh, trying to teach you as an educator and it's just like wow it already stuck up on me like i just know it's like wait wait tomorrow is the day I'm like oh fuck me you know just fuck me actually you know what if i knew i was going against dd freaking moonlight would have been a better choice because <laughs> i would just been like bounce but it's fine <laughs> so it's gonna go ahead and fuse that's fine fuse in your hand to the clear wings i mean I seriously doubt he'll activate anything. I seriously doubt he'll activate anything. It probably looks like he'll just summon back Lamia and go for Siegfried. I, I could pick something out of his hand. Nah. I would say I could fuck my own card up, but there's really no point in doing that. Just blah 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 and gain the points. Right? All right, so he's just gonna, he's gonna go into Siegfried. It's just fine, I guess. <laughs> it's not the greatest end result that I want right now, but, and I seriously doubt the Siegfried's gonna, oh no, he's just gonna attack. I thought you were gonna go into Siegfried, but, nope, so, definitely Moonlight would've been the better choice. Uh, that was my, I thought, I thought I wanted to make clear when to go ahead and, you know, protect myself, but no, Moonlight, Moonlight would've just bounced that Oracle King and I wouldn't have to worry about him or Sig or the Sig Siegfried in, in main phase two. So go ahead and go sink in the Siegfried. Yep. Oh, like he... I can't handle him. Like I said, I would not be surprised if he just goes ahead and flips up his, uh... His, uh... Trap card. Uh, is that card... Uh, DD? The card that I, uh... It's not in the log. I was kind of wondering if that, uh... That trap card that I banished from the hand... I don't think it's a DD. Anyway, I can just go ahead and, uh... Hmm... I kind of just want to go into Moonlight. Like, I did, that's really what I want to do. Just Mizuki, summon back. Do I have anything? No, not really. No, I don't, actually. I can't, I, I, would, I wouldn't be able to attack this turn, but I can go Mizuki, do Lady in the White, then summon Unizombie. Unizombie, send another Mizuki, increase your level. I wouldn't be able to attack, because I don't want to pitch anything from my hand, and then go into Moonlight and then bounce him. I wouldn't be able to attack, but it wouldn't be a terrible play. So it really just comes down to the set card. The set card could be the difference between uh, who's who's going to do a lot better in this duel, in this end. I guess I could have had Omega pick the card out of his hand, but I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait for now. I say it's the set card because if anything, I would gladly go ahead and crash my Omega into his uh, his Siegfried. So what's your set card? Doesn't look like he's ready to play it. So. I'll go ahead and increase my own level by sending a... I really only need mo one Mizuki, so I can start getting my, uh... My, uh... My King... My Soul Servant play set up. Like, I think I'll go ahead and start doing that. So, go ahead and get you all... Uh, uh, two Lady of Rides and two Skull Servants left in deck. So... Then go into Moonlight. Moonlight Bouncer, Siegfried. I can't attack, but I have Moonlight, so... I don't know what this card is. The the trap card in your hand's not the greatest, so so we might be okay for right now. So go ahead and go into Moonlight. I black red Moonlight. Black red wouldn't be terrible either, especially since I can hop out of the way with Omega. But I like the fact, and I like the idea of just every single time you Sigar summon or summon a big strong monster, just nope, nope, nope. Like I was thinking it was that, but uh, that doesn't do anything because I don't think you have. I don't think this is a DD card, or maybe it is. No, the, the spells and the traps don't say DD on it, so... Alright, I guess it can activate Covenant. Okay, so you're gonna activate Covenant, and then negate... And negate it, I guess, before you get bound so you don't take that extra thousand? I don't even know why you activated this right now. Whatever. Whatever. So, I just got a lot to, a lot to do. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually behind. I'm recording this on Wednesday, for Wednesday. So, you can just go back to the extra deck. 
Uh, and besides that, I think I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my, my Mizuki back. And uh, I think I'm pretty much done for now. So you're not gonna take any damage, so you got one new card. You can still fuse with your contract though. Yeah, banish these two. Go into like your wolf god, but I'll bounce you immediately with moonlight. Like I said it might have been better to go into black rose, but I'll go ahead and do this. Oh, I can return. Oh yeah, I totally want to return your llama. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> going with my Mizuki back. So no, I have to record for uh, for Wednesday on Wednesday, but I probably gotta have to record on Wednesday for Thursday because I'm gonna be busy Thursday. Uh, gotta drive to the other side of town, go back to the college, turn all my assignments, turn in my book that I rented from him. That not rented from him, that I borrowed from him while I was waiting for to get my book, and uh, still got to finish this work. So I finished the journal, the five-page journal. I finished the philosophy of teaching. I still got to do a reflective journal, which is difficult because the reflective journal. What I've learned in this class, one of the things that we learned, I learned a lot about, is in the discussion board, and I wanted to write about all, well, all no, not all four, because well, the first one was just introduction, but all three is a discussion. But we haven't really done the last discussion, because it's not, despite all the assignments being due on the 26th, the discussion's not due till like next Monday. So no one's really done that discussion, so I don't know that point of view. So I, I can bust out a two page essay, that's no problem. Two page, double space, and a life format, I'm sure. But I would only be writing about two out of the, you know, three things. Really? You're gonna try to come after my Megan? Not the, not the moonlight, not the moonlight that can be a serious threat to you every single time you frickin' fusion summon. No, 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 you're gonna go after my fucking Omega who could just leave. Like, all right, all right, all right. You might as well just go ahead and scoop it up. Like, you, you lost, sure. Go ahead and fuse, go ahead and banish, and as soon as you fucking do that, I'll just bounce you. Like, if you would actually use this Dream to a GG card and then pitch and then pop my moonlight and then fuse, maybe we could talk. That would, that would be a pretty powerful play. I mean, I wouldn't be out of this duel, but that would have been much better than what you just did. Like, yep, yeah, done to uh, another Oracle King. I'm, I'm, it's mandatory, I have to bounce you. So, uh, GG, GG, go ahead and hit that surrender button. It's right up here, go ahead and click this for me. Cause that's it. Like, mmm. Mmm. <laughs> and you're still playing Lilith. Like, alright. What's this guy do? I don't even know what this guy does. What does this guy do? I don't think I remember seeing him. And if I to discard this card and talk about being in contract. You control the term Yeah, I don't think I play Gala. Gally, the prophecy. Galilei. Lay, Lee? Hmm. No, I don't play him in DD. Alright, so, you got his card back, it's not a DDD card, so I really don't have to worry about anything, so I guess I'll just go ahead and wrap this duel up, you know? So, I can just go ahead and have Mizuki summon Unizombie, Unizombie, uh, send, hmm, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of thinking what I want to do. I guess I could play a lure and get deeper into my deck. I want to do the sending from the deck thing, so I can go ahead and send more. But then I don't want to be so weak with damage if I can't end the game because only zombie monsters can attack. Does that make sense? So, I'm definitely going to summon Yuna Zombie in attack mode because he's a zombie, he's going to get that extra damage in. So, go ahead and I guess increase your own level. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. Uh, then we will go ahead and once again send the Prince. And Prince, go ahead and send. Send, send, send. Need more sending. Oh, I didn't even send the freaking, uh, the freaking king. Like, all right, good job, Daniel. Didn't even send the king. I might have to actually have to alert. Fuck it, I'll alert. I got some darks. Oh, nope, didn't draw until I what I wanted. Damn it, I probably won't be able to end this duel because I didn't send the king. I guess I could send the king with prince, but I'd have to banish too. I really don't want to do that. I'd rather just have it in my graveyard. And then, you know, summon it back with Zombie Master. Is there anything left in here? Is it Unizombie? Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do Prince. And that sucks. That sucks. I wanted to get as much damage out as possible. So I'll just go ahead and banish those two. And then summon King. I'm trying to get 4,000? That's, that's still not bad. That's not bad. That's not, that's not bad. I guess I can just go ahead and summon Zombie Match and get as much damage as I can. It's 53, 53, 
60, 71, I think this is game. If I do attack, attack, attack with the, all, th all three of these guys, I think that's game. It's either 61 or 71, and I'm just not doing the math right. But I want to say it's 71. Because it's 31 plus, yeah, 71. So, yep, I won. All right, so there we go. That's done. <laughs> So, uh, like I said, I still gotta record for Thursday, still gotta finish my reflective journal. Just a lot of things to do on uh, on this Wednesday in prepare preparation for Thursday. A lot of things to do. So, like I said, hopefully the mic sounds great. And some people are saying that, uh, some people come and say that sounds better, but then some people are like, it's a little echoey. The sound bounces around the large room. It's a really high quality mic. Uh, purchased a phone for another $60, like a phone stand. Uh, I could probably take a picture of it and show it to you guys what it looks like, but, uh, uh, pretty much it's the mic, high quality mic, with the, the pop filter, with a foam barrier around it, so the sound doesn't bounce around, it just goes directly from my mouth, through the mic, and then off the phone, so, uh, we don't get that echoey sound, it, it cost me a lot, it cost me a lot, and be, I put on my credit card, be paying off that for a while, but, uh, hopefully it was worth it just to increase the quality of the audio, and, you know, you know, if I didn't need to get a new mic, I wouldn't have gotten a new mic, but since I need to get a new mic, I might as well upgrade, right? So, we're done. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're playing ABC. Uh, we're not playing the Lightstorm version, right? So, I actually made a Union ABC based deck. I mean, come on, that fill spell so good. So, um, I don't know who will be joining me, but you'll find out. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.